Proud military history, 241 years, the few, the proud, the Marines. Nearly 100 local Marine recruits getting ready to head off to boot camp. New enlistees from RSS Tucson spent last weekend in Phoenix getting a taste of what they can expect when they join the Corps. Now in your science, Jennifer De La Cruz got an inside look into what it takes to become a Marine. Who are we? 300 men and women lining up, pulling up, and running off into one of the most difficult challenges of their lives. Mini Marine boot camp testing endurance, emotions, and physical strength. You get your chin over the ball. One of Tucson's newest members, 18 year old Juan Street. Ever since I was little, they always saw me in the Cami's hat, everything. Just, I always wanted to be a Marine, nothing else. He's set to graduate from Sawarita High School this year. My entire family was Marines. My grandfather was a sergeant major, my mother was a gunny. My, my dad, he was a sergeant, and my uncle was a corporal. So I figured, shoot, what a better way to carry on the legacy. Enlistees in the camp forced to do pull-ups, sit-ups, and a one-and-a-half-mile run, giving them a small taste of what they'll go through during a 13-week camp in San Diego and South Carolina. It really gets them like, wow, what I get myself into? The brotherhood begins here. Another Tucson local overcoming incredible obstacles to live out his dream. I lost over 60 pounds to be here. When Eric Frausto tried to enroll, they turned him down. I lost 30 pounds. I got to 220, and then I uh, called up. They said I was too, still too heavy, so I lost 20 more pounds. I depped in at a uh, 180, for 185. I'm 180 right now. The Marana High School student says his weight loss journey taught him discipline and dedication. I just put that goal in front of me to become a United States Marine and nothing will stop me. And a recent graduate from the U of A setting her goal at becoming an officer. I've always had the spirit of freedom within me. My dad is a former Marine and I decided, you know, I want to follow in the family footsteps. Sarah Coca says the mini boot camp training pushes each recruit to live up to their potential. Sit down. You're going to always want to give 110%. You're always going to want to be um, work as a team and just don't give up. No matter if you're the slowest or the fastest, the fastest just is just as important as the slowest. Most enlistees are set to head off to their real boot camp training after graduation. Let's go! Entering the program as recruits and coming back as the few, the proud, the Marines. Jennifer Dela Cruz, KGUN 9 on your side.